Okay, if you've ever watched this show before, you know that I'm a Doctor Who fan. But when I saw this... Well, you've certainly come to the right place. My reaction was... JESUS! the trailer for the 50th anniversary special day of the doctor now after a long time of rewatching it over and over again and jizzing on my computer i finally decided to actually review it and there's a couple of things i actually saw in the trailer that raised more questions than they answered one thing is the 11th doctor the 11th doctor speaks of what they refer to as the hurt doctor as more of something that's in the past something he's trying to forget when i originally saw the last episode the doctor's name i actually thought that it was going to be something that happens in the future, maybe a future incarnation of the Doctor. But I wasn't quite sure exactly if that was true or not, because he was actually he was actually within his own timeline, so he could have actually showed a, a regeneration that hasn't happened yet. But that, they actually confirmed in this trailer that this particular version of Doctor is from the past. The 11th Doctor started forgetting him, which makes me wonder if this particular Doctor takes place between the 8th Doctor and the ninth Doctor. And um, also, they show a little bit of what seems like Gallifrey, which is the Doctor's planet, which means that maybe this deals with the Time Wars. The Doctor, the storyline we have, they have with the Doctor is he actually destroyed his own planet. So I'm starting to wonder if the Eighth Doctor regenerates into the Hurt Doctor, and the Hurt Doctor was the one that's responsible for, for destroying Gallifrey and ending the Time Wars, and he basically probably died in that situation and turned to the Ninth Doctor. I wonder how they're going to address that. And that would actually explain why the Night Doctor is so, so dark and, and damaged. Because you know, the, if you actually watch the TV movie, the 1996 TV movie, we see the Eighth Doctor, he's on his way to Gallifrey to drop off the, the remains of the Master when everything goes to hell. So um, Gallifrey was still there. When the new, the new show started in 2005, Gallifrey is no more. And the Night Doctor admits that he was the ones behind in the time war by destroying his own people so i can only assume maybe there was a, a regeneration in between the two and this is their way of bridging and, and talking about that gap of that regeneration we didn't we never saw basically and i'm really interested in that i think it's a really good idea for them to actually touch on it in that way in the 50th anniversary if that's what they're going for i mean of course there's no way of telling so far uh there's another thing i wanted to talk about was um the tenth doctor i wonder when when they actually meet the tenth doctor he's with rose in the, in the trailer and of course he's going to be in the anniversary with rose but i'm just not sure which time it happens in if that makes any sense i mean he if you watch the first season with the tenth doctor he uh, loses rose well he separates from rose by the end of that season so i wonder if it happened in between that somehow or he runs into rose later on somehow we don't know about it or they if they meet up with Rose somewhere else. It, it just, it's a lot of questions I have for it. It's a lot of questions. And then also, at one point, you see all three Doctors together. Hurt Doctor, Eleventh Doctor, Tenth Doctor. And if they're all together at one point, they're all working together at, the, at one point, then what exactly is the threat they're going after? It seems like the Doctor's trying to stop himself, a lost incarnation of himself. But if, if he is, then what are they teaming up for? What's so... What's worse than a doctor where all three of them have to come together? There are so many questions I have for this. I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to see this. November 23rd is coming up. I'm really waiting for it. And um, I'm just fucking geeking out. just fanboying out. I just wanted to actually touch on it. Actually say something about it. And um, actually share my thoughts on it. I cannot wait to see these two together. They look like they're having so much fun. They're, they're joking around. Some of the little things they're doing. And just, just fanboy shit. Oh man, I'm really so excited. I'm, I'm losing words. I, I'm just gonna fuck it in this video. I'm in Torres J.I.M. I bid you a good day.